After germination process, the seedling grows into an adult plant that bears flowers. Flowers contain the male and female reproductive organs of flowering plants. The male organ is called the stamen. The stamen consists of a stalk called the filament and an anther which carries the pollen grains. The female organ is called the carpal. The carpal consists of the stigma, style, ovary, and ovule. Now we are going to see the perfect flower sample from hibiscus flower. So hibiscus flower has parts of perfect flowers. So here we can see the horizontal section of hibiscus flower. You can speed up or slow down this video to see the details of the flower. This is the whole shape of the flower. You can see here that the flower has five petals, sepals, and stem. Now let us see the detail of this flower by taking off one by one of its part. We are going to start to take off the stem, then the sepals, petals, and then the stamen and the carpal. First, we take the stem, and then the sepal. After the sepal, then we can take out the petals one by one. We need to do it carefully in order the ovary can be seen clearly. see the male part of the flower the yellow one is the male part so it consists of the filament the filament is the thin stalk supporting the anther and the anther is found on top of the filament it contains pollen sacs which release pollen grains when ripe this reddish part on the top is the stigma it is commonly seen in the center of the flower. It is covered in a sticky substance to allow pollen grains to stick to them. The yellow parts here are pollen grains. Pollen grains are the yellow, dusty substance found on the anther. They contain the male reproductive parts of these flowers. These pollen grains, when it is stick into an insect, the insect will help the pollination, so it will be dispersed to another places. Now we are going to observe the ovary. The ovary is inside the style. The style raises the stigma to increase the flower's chances of pollination. The ovary. The ovary contains and protects the ovules. The ovary and the stigma is connected by a tube. So it's a long tube from the stigma and connect to the ovary.
if the pollen grains arrive on the stigma so the stigma then will absorb it and pass it through the tubes into the ovary and then goes to the ovule which contains the female reproductive part called the egg now we are going to see the ovule this is the ovules as you can see that the ovule has some of the eggs so inside the ovules there are a lot of female reproductive part it consists of so many eggs which later on will develop into a seed so that was parts of perfect flowers you can speed up or slow down this video to get a better understanding about this topic